I'm Colin Clausen. I'm Kay. <laughs> I'm LJ. <laughs> I was the only one doing last name. Okay, oh. I can have a last name. I don't, I don't like my last name. Oh. I'm going to change it one day. Soon. soon. <laughs> uh, and we're the band. <laughs> Former Lovers. Guys, that was and in unison. This is another episode of the Sit Down Podcast. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I like oh, it. Oh, this this intro is exactly how I imagined this band to be all the time. All the time. Yeah. We're nothing but serious. All of the time. Yeah. All, all the time. time. All yeah. of the time. Look at LJ. Look there, at how serious that is. There is no fun. <laughs> <laughs> right on. All right, you guys. Welcome to Bellevue, Saskatchewan. It's good to see you guys again. Hell yeah. You as well. Yeah. Freaking right. Thanks for having us. For, welcome to those of you at home and the ones of you... The, <laughs> hell yeah, the ones of you that are in-house as well. Uh, good to see you guys. Um, before we get into it, I just want to give a couple little um, shout-outs here. Yeah, to Jennifer, thanks for the beer. Yeah, thanks for the brewski. <laughs> um, this episode of the Sit Down Podcast, you guys, is brought to you by the Capital Music Club in oh. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan on 2nd Avenue. If you're a band and you're looking to uh, play some gigs, hit them up. The, the link to them for booking will be in the description of this video, as well as Inspired Vapor Company. If you guys are trying to quit your nicotine habit and uh, get off the cigarettes, you can do, do that by tapering off with, uh, with vape. So if you go to Inspired Vapor Company and use the promo code FUNKY15, you'll get 15% off. Now, with that, and blow it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can Hell I get yeah. permission to do it inside just once? No, I won't. I'm just joking. What are we talking that's, about? That's that's the guy you gotta ask. Right I'm joke. I was just joking. <laughs> can we do? Can we do can a we pull do a off our vapes take? just for the for the ad? There you go, LJ. You got a thumbs up. I'll I, do it with I you. I don't vape. I was just joking. Oh, you were joking. <laughs> I, like I got my vape. But uh, good, good to have you guys here. LJ, this is your third appearance, but first time in person. So I'm super excited to have you here. How did you appear prior? Virtually. Oh, oh. We okay. had, was uh, maybe we had like a seance situation? Yeah. 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 I think, board. were they yeah. both yeah. Zoom calls? Or I think one was Zoom, one was Riverside, and now in-house, I think. Or were they both Zoom? Technicalities. Yeah. This isn't my first recollection of meeting you guys here tonight. Yeah. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Hell yeah. Welcome back, LJ. Okay, this is your second appearance on the show. And I do think that you were the first one that we had here at Le Capitan Restaurant, if, I'm not, if I remember correctly. No. I feel like there was no. I feel like I no. was in the middle of July. And I think there was maybe one or two. I think we had Chance here before. Oh, before yes. Kate? You had had a. Yeah. Yes. The, the magician? Yeah. Uh, well, you were the first musician. Oh, okay, we perfect. Had I love that, it. That I'll works. take it. I'll take so it. Yeah. So technically, I'm first not wrong there. Awesome. The second magician. Love it. You, I mean, well, uh, oh yeah, yeah I was do doing my magic. magic. Yeah. Show we'll go. That uh, we'll go um, to the comments for that because I don't think that's right. <laughs> I assume you do magic. Seems hell like yeah. And Colin is his first time. And first hell time. yeah. So every time Joel says that we're talking about the best sound guy in Saskatchewan, this guy. That's the guy that's I'm referring to. Yeah. Hell yes. <laughs> Love you. Colin, I do, I, when I say that, I know you hate it when I say that. So that's me. But I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be dead honest with you. In my opinion, I do truthfully believe that you're the best sound guy this province has to offer. Out of all the shows I've ever, well, you laugh, but I'm serious, man. Well, Every show I've ever went to. Tonight he like, pulled a few stunts that I'm like, yeah. yeah you're, that you're not happy with. <laughs> no, but that was personal. That had nothing to do with my profession. That's just that's also just, true. Yeah. I feel, how I feel about you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Mutual feelings. Great. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So no, I, I, this is great. I'm glad you guys are here. Uh, there's a lot that I want to talk about. Um, I don't think you're going to get a word in with these guys. but whatever. Maybe maybe <laughs> not. But I, I do want to, right out of the gate, I want to address this. So I... The, the name. So there's this whole rebranding, renaming thing going on with you guys right now, and I want to talk about that if, if, if we can, LJ. Do we have permission, LJ? 
Yeah, yeah, we can. We we can go ahead. Yeah. We How about Col- as his Colton lep- Lar- as his representation? Uh, yes. <laughs> I think I, Colton would explain yeah. it best. Colton. Colton. Or, or Colton. Should be. What? Oh, speak can up. we can we do this? Colton. What? Colton. Yeah. What? Col- where wherever you are here. Colton. What? <laughs> can we talk about the name? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Good. Right, yeah, yeah, good. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> you guys were uh, named L. J. Tyson and the locals, but very recently you got that that all changed. Am I correct on that? I mean, I, well, yeah. It actually hasn't launched yet, so this is kind of like the this this, this is going to be it. This, this, be is, this is the is launch. The, the launch. This, this is, is the big reveal. And you didn't even get us balloons. Yeah. So, um, well, this is the first time well, I hear that this is the first time. The night's not over yet. We don't We're just it. getting okay, started. Cool. Maybe, maybe the balloons are over there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Honestly, if there's no balloons, I'm kind of going to be late. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, let's, I, I want to talk about that. So what, like, why, why change the name? Why rebrand and, and like, launch this new project out instead of just like continuing on? I think the project just kind of like naturally started to change and we realized like it's a different thing now and so we really want to hit the ground running and just like show people that it's not the same thing. I mean, LJ Tyson and the locals has seen a bunch of different members. It has seen, you know, from LJ doing like just solo stuff like under the same name and there's been like some country records put out there and all different things and then you know we all started like playing together in like March last year ish I think was like our first show it was yeah yeah and then I think we just decided we really like this lineup of people and want it to have more of a band feel and like everyone's you know and it and it's a very new direction where we're like a poppy rock alt rock kind of thing and yeah just needed it just didn't the elder Tyson and the locals just didn't suit what was going on anymore. Right. And I technically I'm not a local. Yeah. Them, so Which there makes was a it weird, so like, there was like the legality this... of it got really weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lawyers involved and all that. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, it was, it was oh. getting messy and yeah. And you mean you know how like PA is with like their locals, they really hang on to them and if you yeah, have someone yeah. else that's trying to like be an imposter, yeah. there was a lot of bad blood happening. I felt we weird. Just, I just got a lot of weird <laughs> <looks>. <laughs> figured we'd start fresh. Yeah. Well and I, Kay yeah. moved away, so yeah. she wasn't a local. So then anymore. it was like and the paparazzi Be- storm alone, like it became, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, El- LG's more or less living out of his car, so yeah. like yeah. local to everywhere, I guess. Local to everywhere, so it's like yeah. local to Canada. Local to Canada, yeah. <laughs> I do not live in my car <laughs> <laughs> anymore for the past anymore. like week. <laughs> <laughs> it also feels like LJ Tyson and the locals was like. <clears throat> The band is LJ, and whoever's behind them are the locals, and that mm-hmm. changed frequently. Mm. Ish. Ish, but like the thing is, like, <clears throat> um, the other three put in like way too much work for just to call them like right. and the locals. Do you know what I mean? And then yep. when it came time to start like making music, I'm like, oh, these are actually all very talented songwriters. So, like, even more reason not to call it and the locals. You know what I mean? And I think it's so reflective of the kind of music I was making. It's kind of got that, like, folky country vibe, you know, locals. Anytime you have, like, an and the, I feel like it's kind of like a folk rock backup band. Yeah. It just comes to mind. It just, like, it it didn't fit anymore. Yeah. You know, that's not to say, like any disrespect to anyone else who's been a local because there's been amazing locals that are like yeah. doing crazy cool things out in the world right now mm-hmm. it's just i think um i just think uh, we're a little bit over it you know what i mean yeah. i don't want to say definitely. past it but You're definitely a band. over it yeah You're we're a band, we're a band. Yeah. and that yeah. naturally happens like um we didn't even really get rehearsal our first gig together like we kind of just hopped in and took our first road trip together and like I'm like, oh, these are actually super cool people. Like I'd run into Colin quite a few times over the years because he's the best sound guy in Saskatchewan. Mm-hmm. And then me and Kay have been friends sure. for years and years and years. Okay, I've been so, trying to be in done. his band for forever. And so it's just, and then Colton's my little brother. You know, like yeah. so he has to be. So he has to be in the band. Mom said he had yeah. to come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mom said you're taking your brother with you. Yeah. yeah. And that's a really long, boring way of saying now we are something new. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, and no. the new name is Former Lovers. Former which, uh, not to be confused with Former Lovers, which yeah. is also a great band. Not yet, anyway. Yeah. yeah. 
Because yeah. if you <laughs> start playing bluegrass and then yeah, that yeah. might be our that might yeah. be our acoustic album. Your I'm into alter that. Ego. Put down yeah. and do it. I'm into yeah. that. <laughs> So what's what's that thing in front of you there, Kate? This is um, a melodica. So it's uh, the most annoying instrument ever created. You blow into it and it makes a terrible sound. <laughs> So is it, uh, does it like hold air as well or it's only no, like, if you're blowing, like, not a bagpipe, yeah, it's not like a bagpipe or nothing? No, no, it's, um, you have some good lung capacity to keep her going. Hell yeah, <laughs> I love it, I love it. And this is the only instrument Yeah, this is the only keyboard that I have in this province anymore and my bass, I, all my other instruments are shipped off to Ontario, so... That's right. Yeah, you just recently moved out there, hey? Like yeah, a, a month or reason. two ago? Uh, November. November. November 12th. I right. left Why? and drove on Why? out. 
What? Well, I got engaged. So <laughs> at the on Capitol stage, Music Club. at the Capitol with these lovely humans. Hell yeah! We're not engaged to us. We should no, yeah. that, <laughs> we're former lovers. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, got engaged on stage. Yeah, um, that, second last song, Eli decided to shake it up, pop the question. I don't know how I played another song after that. And then literally like two days later, we packed up and drove out there. It was, it was funny because I was at that show and I was taking pictures and Kay was playing her bass with her, you know, relaxed face. And then they got engaged and then the next couple of songs were just her and a huge grin. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't stop smiling. Yeah. <laughs> How awkward would that last song have been if you said no? Like, still have to I still set. have to I finish the set. <laughs> I don't think there was a last, last song if that... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that been, I'm obligated to fill the time slot. So yeah, I, I, it would have been. I guess I would have had. To, I would have had to change the set list. Like yeah. we would have had to. Would have been a whole mess. I I had to say yes. I was forced into it. No, it was a happy song. I had to like end on a good note. Actually, if she would have said no, then <laughs> the previous song was the last song ever. Probably. True. Oh yeah, yeah. That would have been something. Did you happen to get footage <laughs> of that proposal? Or no? LJ did. Did you? Yeah, but I wasn't like the one designated to do it. I was gonna say there's. I was the technical uh, video. He was the. He was one of the only. I think there was only two people that Eli told beforehand. It was right. like Rob, who is his drummer in his band back home. He told him when he dropped him off at the airport. He was like, "I'm gonna do this," and then he told Colin here. He's like, "You you got a video or something." I did tell Charmaine as well because oh, she was gonna okay. come later, and I called. Yeah. Her. I was like, "You should you should come down now because I'm yeah. pretty sure Kay's gonna get engaged by the end of this set." And then I think <laughs> you texted me or like, "You should probably come out here for this, right?" Yeah, yeah. To check, and I was like. I, I kind of got an idea <laughs> from there. Because I, re I remember you coming out the back and then you started videoing. Then that happened. I was like, did you know about this? And you're like, I don't know. I was just here. To take <laughs> LJ knows all. Yeah. He does, doesn't he? Kind of Do, know he knows a lot more than he <laughs> perceives. Isn't that what we were just talking about? Yeah. Illuminati or whatever? Yeah, no, yeah. he's yeah. connected. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know to... I'll learn how to do the symbol. Yeah. I'm new to this. Yeah. That's your high fives? <laughs> <laughs> well, the blood oath did happened. just happen like last week, so you mean there's <laughs> a whole lot to learn. Frickin' right. So, you guys are currently, uh, have you got the album recorded, or you're currently recording it, or talk me through that a little bit. Oh. <laughs> we just did a single the other day uh, yeah. at Rec Hall Studios. Okay. Um, we had a different release plan for everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then someone, um, and I'm not going to point any fingers in this scenario, but somebody crashed their car and missed their flight. Uh, and then we that had to me. find a backup bass player for a gig. Yeah. Uh, so everything we had planned kind of got derailed for a little bit. Uh, but it worked out in the end. Yeah. Yeah. She got just, a good uh, payout on her car. Yeah. We got I'm a single out of it. That. Holy smokes. Oh, that paid for the single? No, oh, that would have been cool. You oh should have like, oh. done yeah. that. No, this it's gonna happen. Sell your car for a single. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I didn't know you got in an accident or like what oh, the yeah. hell happened. Oh, I mean, you know, it was mostly stupid. I like didn't go the way I was supposed to go, so I ended up on like a little tiny country road at five in the morning trying to like make my flight. I'm trying to get like the fastest way to Ottawa, which is like cross country roads, and I don't know where I'm going. And then I hit a snowbank. I just came down a hill too fast and all the roads go like this out there you know i'm prairie girl we drive straight yeah <laughs> um so i just drove straight in into a snowbank and oh then oh my gosh yeah just straight missed, into a snowbank. missed my flight took a few hours to like dig my car out and <laughs> holy smokes i've done that so, once yeah you but i made it back you now <clears throat> uh no i thought i was on a different road because my navigator told me to turn left, which I did, and then the road just ended. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. I said this was like a nice. It didn't end because it was a summer road on the other end, but it was winter and there was that much snow, so. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah. 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 I, I got you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it yeah. happens, you know, yeah. it's winter. That's, I've decided my next vehicle has to be all wheel drive. That's, that's the takeaway lesson from this right. uh, whole experience. But we also learned on the way over here that LJ is the, the best driver. Yeah. 
Cause Almost hit the ditch, but no, he pep you, talked himself back into keeping it on the road. I wouldn't even call that a pep talk. That was like, <laughs> Had it, to it was himself? almost like meditation. <laughs> like you just like, we're so calm in the calmest voice. You just, so did you guys, al- you almost hit the ditch on the way to Bellevue? Yeah. Got a little squirrely for a second. Yeah. Where, I did where about? Gig in, uh, Fast and Furious, like 11, though, so that <laughs> it, it, it worked out in the end. Just on that highway into town, turned into glare ice with the snow. Oh, yeah. Super yeah. fun. Our good old Highway 225. Ooh, is, is this our segue one? to shit talk the highway? Fuck no. Yeah. Oh, please, yes. No, don't shit talk highways. We oh, have to man. leave off that highway. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's you not going to change. Gonna uh, yeah. Yeah. They're not going to get here that quick. <laughs> Trust, yeah. me. Trust me. It's been a couple it'll decades since we've while. been bugging them about that road. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's fucking awesome. So you guys r- have the single recorded, and it's like ready mm. to release? Uh, like we were just in the studio on Tuesday. Yeah. So, Hell, so yeah. no. So no. So not There's quite some, ready. A little but, bit of mix but, and master. And yeah. Stuff, but March 20th is the, yeah. is the release date. Is both of their birthdays. Yes. What the hell out of here? Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. They share a birthday. And they're not even related. It's crazy. I don't that's think that's how, how that works. birthdays work. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know if you have to be... No, I feel like it's like less likely to have the same birthday if you're related. Unless you're twins. Like, yeah, when's, unless you're twins. When's but. your birthday? Uh, five days after their birthday. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. I bet you yours is pretty close. And Colton's and you, is... Would you be Pisces too then? I don't know. No, he's not. He's an Aries. <laughs> Oh yeah, because we're the last day. Are we the, I was like, are we the last day or the first day? We're the last day, right? Okay. The fact that you knew that so quickly. <laughs> so was, I picked this band based on like zodiac compatibility. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, dude. This works. Beauty and Colt, and then Colton. Yeah. Yeah. You know. We were trying to figure out what his birthday is today. May tenth. Yeah, I wouldn't guess. Oh, that. we were way off. Yeah, we. I was guessing <laughs> September, August. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's young. Amazing. He's got many birthdays. He's got left. many birthdays left. Yeah. Our days are numbered. <laughs> okay. Freaking right. So March March twentieth is the which single is? I was just going to say. In? You you played a few songs yeah. here. One of them was uh, the single. Still human. So. Oh yes. But we played like a slow acoustic version. Yeah. The, the single is very like pop, almost dancey. dance <gasps> track. It's happening! Oh, oh my gosh. god. And it's like, ah! Oh, ah! Um, Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god. We're a real band. Look at We got yeah. balloons and everything. Where's the camera? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Hell yeah. We this is it. sick. Thank you so much. <laughs> See? Not ask and thou shall receive, buddy. No, just like. I love this. Well, I want maybe. a unicorn. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> That's freaking yeah, awesome. Like, Where amazing. the hell did the. Thank you. Did you like run home and go get those or what? You just no, she's just stuff. magical and she's like, Joel, we had this all planned. Yeah, it was all planned. <laughs> no, that's that's freaking awesome. So I, I want to ask, I asked this to a lot of the artists when we're talking about like releasing music and like what type of strategy or plan as musicians you have going in. And I'll, I've heard so many different answers to like what the plan is. So I'm, I've come to believe that there is no, like you said, cookie cutter on, on how to release music. But I'm very curious on what your plan is on, on releasing this one. Do you have, um, sorry, do you have a Sharpie? Should I have Colton on here or right? Oh. Yeah. oh. No. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Um, Cause I think this one's the size of his head. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Colton? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah? Okay. <laughs> just get that cut in of him just... <laughs> <laughs> That's the size of my head. Yeah. <laughs> <Pretty nice>. <laughs> <laughs> but but anyway, yes, so, I, sorry. I, yeah, yep. enough distraction. Sorry. I, um, I, like I was saying, I'm very curious on like your, your plan or your strategy on releasing your music. Like, what's... Is there a plan? What, yeah, what's... There how, is a plan. There is a plan? We can't share it. Oh! Yeah. We will, however, I'll say this. <clears throat> I think it's a little cheesy to be like, here's how we're going to take over the world and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if there was, like, another artist, especially, like, a young, and co- young up-and-coming artist that wanted our help on something or our advice, I don't know why, because we have such weird advice, um, we would share that with them. Right. But, like, I just think, like, um... Instead of doing it publicly. Rather than being, like, buy our music and do this, you know what I mean? I'm, I think, um, 
me personally and and maybe a lot of other artists have this thing of like here's what we're gonna do and here's what we're gonna do and then they go and talk about it and like either 90 percent of the time it doesn't happen or you know everything's constantly changing so we could like sit here and tell you like our really sick cool plans but it might change so then we'd be liars you know saying, what I mean? someone's yeah. gonna crash a car someone's or, gonna you know, crash you know what i mean yeah. like, like there's always like and the, or like something does really well and then all of a sudden like that's taking us on a different yeah, track. Right. Like, yeah, it'll, you never it'll, really know. But the cool thing is, all of us um, have gotten to be a part of some cool projects in the past, and so we all, I think, are bringing something to the table that kind of is yeah. something extra special. You know, it's our Hell own. Yeah. And I think we all also kind of like work in different areas, like that surround music. So, like, you know, I'm obviously artistic. Like, I'm doing all logos and like I'm all excited about the visual part of it all like Colin's gonna do like mixing and mastering like he's the audio guy as we've said a million times yeah. you know like he's a great dancer I'm, I'm a say, fantastic dancer yeah you are? Mm-hmm. but also you're pretty good like personality and like you, you know you're like you're handling video production and all kinds of we've all got other creative aspects that are really like making it extra fun to come up with like cool yeah. ideas and creations and like I think everything surrounding all of our releases and stuff is going to look and sound and, and feel and be cool. Colton's usually the quiet one. Yeah. So but we're all just trying to impress Colton because <coughs> I'm pretty sure he's a musical genius. I'm, I'm <laughs> like 95% sure he could be the next Rick Rubin. What? Because he stays quiet the whole time. And like you get little smiles out of him and you're like, yes, this is it. This is the moment. <laughs> so that's my whole goal is just if we can impress Colton, I'm, I'm in. Going into like songwriting sessions for this um project we sat there with colton and i don't think he'd care if we tell this story but like colton do you care colton do you care no nope. he's good he's good <laughs> right. um and then me and colin like talked about it after and we're like were you trying to like find something colton like the whole time and like impress him and he's like yeah because <laughs> <laughs> he's just like he has good taste you know he knows when something is um going to work you know but then he is very honest when he's like, this is not it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. Um, we seem to have like a hundred ideas, but like only a few of those ideas are ones that actually like work yeah. with this project. You know what I mean? For sure. And I have to learn how to share. I'm so used to just like sitting in a room by myself and writing songs and then that's the song, you know? Yeah. So now it's to have like three other people being like, here's what we should do. I'm a little bit like, what do you mean here's what we should do? <laughs> 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 <You know? laughs> I'm getting better. This was great when I wrote it. Yeah. That is awesome. (laughs) One, two, one, two, three, four.
shows lined up yeah here and there we're doing one in um pa on march 11th um it's like a little monday night nighttime concert it's Mm -hmm. um part of this like big youth event that they're having there um and then what's after that we might do some kind of like little thing when we release the single yeah we're doing like some like birthday party release yeah party release thing um quite solidified what that one looks like. Do you know yeah. where then, where you're going to do that one? We'll yeah. invite you guys when we know. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I was well, going to say, let's let's partner up and let's do something. Yeah. That would so be you, sick. Yeah. yeah. We're Here in Bellevue. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we could, maybe, like we might, maybe it's yeah. an option. We'll put it in the maybe box. Yeah. 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 Maybe at Rock Trout again. I do have a soft spot for the trout. Dude, but, that so we were there on Friday. Oh yeah. That was the first time I've ever been there. I actually what? I yeah, I well, kind of I that like was it. my reaction. Like Yeah, that was the first time there? I've ever been there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I say, Yeah. I spent like all of like 2017, 2018, 2019 there. Are you serious? Oh I yeah. I thought Her drum like kit lived there. Just drum kit okay. lived there. What? No. Well, like, it's only open for events now, so it used to be like full on like restaurant open all the yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. And, and it used to be the tartan table before that, and so it Really well, actually, like, yeah, before, before it was Rock Trout, and then it was a tartan table in the middle. Oh, and right. then it was, it was Rock Trout. now it's back to Rock Event Trout Center. events now, yeah. and it only does events, but. Hell yeah. But yeah, it's a super cool building, and there's been all kinds of, like, I've played there with every project. We've played there. Yeah, we've played there. I think everything I've ever played in has played there at this point. there. Yeah. I I haven't went to many shows in Prince mm-hmm. Albert. Like, I saw you performing with Cupid's Heart at what's that uh, Spice, Spi- Trail? At Spice, Spice Trail. Trail oh yeah I was yeah. there for that show I saw you performing at the library at yes thank you oh, God. <laughs> yeah I, oh. I remember that I and then with what I what were you what were you playing with at the library the locals but the other locals oh yeah that's <laughs> when we met Josh oh well yeah no I know it would have <laughs> wow. been the other locals don't wow. worry yep. I know. yeah My that, that is right that's, yep. that was the night that I, I met Josh Stumpf actually was when he was opening for you I was telling this to LJ outside I was like you might not be aware of this I was like but a lot of the stuff and connections that we have LJ's been like he, all three of you guys have been a big part of that like Except if it Colin. wasn't for you guys coming here and being <laughs> on the show and getting to know us and stuff, like we wouldn't be where we are now by getting to know you guys. So I we are so like, sorry to everyone out there. We will we will work to mend this situation. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, I truly mean that, man. Like when I tell you guys that you guys are our friends and open door and all that shit that I say at the end of every episode, like I truthfully I mean that. Like, yeah, I consider you guys actual friends. Like, how many times have I just hit you guys up for a rent? Like, how much do I fucking mm-hmm. bug you, Colin and Kayana? We've like, had discussions twice. before. The 2 like, a.m. texts have to stop. They though. do. <laughs> getting a little you're, you're tired of my dick pics, eh? Stop saying that. I, I never <laughs> said that. I just <laughs> it's the time, time of day. I get tired. <laughs> He wants Hell them yeah. earlier. Yeah. 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 Those Just send them at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're adults now, okay? Like, we got to get to bed. Okay. Yeah. Freaking right. No, I'm super pumped to, to hear that. And, and I love how you guys took the time to practice the songs, like, acoustically and, like, toned down for, for the program here. So, like, thank you for that. That means a lot. Um, when you put in that out the the effort and, and seriousness <laughs> okay, well, they're, that they're was really largely necessity that was necessity uh, they're real fresh songs super like, fresh <laughs> yeah and colton's not here so yeah yeah I mean, yeah they kind of had, had to, to. Yeah. but like the last one we played i think me and lj just made a demo of that one time when colton wasn't even there and Kay was 
yeah. across the off world. Yeah, off in her Ontario off and living, Green Gables cabin. Saying, off living in my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a t- yeah. <laughs> no, cabin. Cabin. It's a trailer. Ain't nothing yeah. wrong with living in a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> have you, uh, Kayana, have you um, had an opportunity to perform out there since you've been out there? No. No, I haven't really done anything yet. I've just uh, tagged along. I'm, I'm just the groupie out there. I just, like, hang out, and I, like, sell Tara's merch and, um, you know, put the stuff in the van and take the stuff out of the right. van, and that's that's my life. Uh, <laughs> that's Tara my life hasn't asked so you to open for her yet? No, I'm, uh, I'm working on that mm. slowly. Um, I'm still really, dead in the camera. I'm still really video. scared of Tara. She's, <laughs> she's like, my, you know, and I'm still just kind of, like, it's but okay if I hang out here? Really? She seems like a really sweet person, though. She is. Yeah. She's a gem of a human. Yeah. Um, and just amazingly talented. And so kind of like, just it feels out of my league still. Honestly, like it feels beyond me. But I'm sure I'll get to play soon. I think I'm, we're working on some little things. Eli nice. and I are working on a little duo project. So What was the name of that one again? Small Pond. Small. Cute. So there's a small pond behind our trailer and uh Cabin. i feel like i remember Cabin. another name i was thinking it's because you guys were big fish in a small pond well that's mm. something like that's that. i feel kind of like the big fish in the small pond here and now i've been taken to the big pond of yeah like the biggest out in the sea you know and yeah. i'm like oh i don't even know how to swim <laughs> <laughs> is the i'm very curious if like is there some major differences in the music scene out there compared to saskatchewan um, that you've been able to like, no, pick honestly, up No, honestly, I've kind of, fa- like, I kind of find that, like, the whole Canadian music scene, like, gets pretty small. Like, like once you start to get into it, like, you start meeting people that know people, and, like, right. it's, it feels very much like here, where, like, I'll talk to people, and then they'll talk to be like, oh, yeah, I played with that band, and I'll be like, oh, I know that band. And okay. All of a sudden, you're crossing paths with different members, and yeah, yeah. there's a kind of like here. There's that seven degrees of... Kevin Bacon or whatever. Yeah. And yeah. the music scene is like three. Yeah. 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 And there's a Canadian music. Like, there's only so many Canadian musicians out there. Yep. Hell yeah. There's actually a shit ton of them. Yeah. yeah. And, but there I are mean, a lot. They, but as they, and I think they all kind of like tour a lot. So like they all get to know each other all the way across. Like. Yeah. Yep. You know. Freaking right. Yeah. So you guys have not. Or ha- no. You have. Okay. I don't even know. Have you guys performed as former lovers on stage yet? No, because no. they just announced they just the name just, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They and have a song called "Former Lovers." Well, we That's don't. Right. We got to rewrite that now because it's. Is it weird to have a song now with the same name? Now it's former yeah. former lovers. I've been pitching for mm. farmer lovers. I just think it's a better name. Is it a bluegrass <laughs> song? It doesn't mm-hmm. have to be. It could be. It could be. Could Farmers be. are diverse. Farmer. They like all sorts of music. It's a bluegrass song. There you go. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Heck yeah. You got any questions? So many, but they're inappropriate. Ask go ahead. Ask 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 away. I feel like there's not a age restriction on this. Colton's there is here. Yeah. Colton. <laughs> yeah. <Colton's laughs> <on> <laughs> oh, I mean, sorry, Colton. What? I imagine he's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Freaking right. Um, Colin, okay, question I have for you okay. is... Uh, it's kind of steering away from the band here a little bit, but how long have you been working at the Capitol? Katie, you want to answer that one? <laughs> how long have you been working at the Capitol? LJ, Officially, you know? like a <laughs> like, year? I would say, like, I feel like you've been there forever. Intermittently, like five years. But right. Yeah. yeah. House tech for a year. So, so what, like, how did you get into to doing sound is it just because like you were you learned everything from being a musician and then an opportunity arose and it was like yeah i can run that equipment and then it just kind of picked up from there or like how did you get into yeah. that position you there? make it sound like it's just a pickup hobby and it's like <laughs> oh I, hmm. well it's <laughs> not i just i i don't know from how i know colin i know he's a great musician and he plays with a lot of different people so he just, for the amount of things this guy does, I just don't know how he would ha- have the time to like go to school and learn how to do it and all that kind of... I think he's more of a kind of guy who just knows how to do it and was like, yeah, I can do that. It was kind of the opposite. Like I was... I played in bands in high school and stuff. And then out of high school, I got into working auto body. And like I played 
guitar a little bit, would jam with friends and stuff. And I got sick of auto body, and my whole thought path path was I like cars and I like guitars, but now I've worked with cars, and they I got sick of those. So then I was kind of like. I started looking and I found the Recording Arts Institute of Saskatoon and I was like, I don't know, I'll try that with no real game plan. And halfway through the course, I realized, oh, if I want to actually make money working in this industry, live sound makes sense because recording is hard to make money in. And then I just kind of stumbled into that. And then it was kind of when COVID hit, did I start actually playing seriously again? Because I finally had time because prior to that, the 90 plus hour work weeks kind of don't leave you time for anything. So yeah, it just kind of happened that uh, and then I started playing with Caitlin and then a bunch of other things since then. And here we are. Hell yeah, dude. <clears throat> so if you had, to, I, I think I know the answer to this question already, but I'm going to ask it anyway. If you had to choose one of either <clears throat> like running sound at a venue or performing, which one would you choose? Which one do you have more fun doing out oh, of the two? Performing's more fun, but... Have you seen his high kicks? I mean, <laughs> they're getting a little lower. I need to work on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mess. Um, That's part of our like rebranding strategy. Is we're also going to take like fitness classes. Well, LG's on a classes, whole diet right now. I'm like, no joke. Like before this music video, like I'm like in high gear right now. Yeah, yeah. We're, it's uh, insane. It's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a joke, even. Oh like, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. I was thinking that could be a fucking music video right there is you guys all working out in the gym nobody wants to see that <laughs> no, for me no offense to you. they probably want to see it for you guys but hey i'm up to like five chin-ups in a row oh wow not gracefully though i will it's awful i couldn't even probably <laughs> so is that kind of that. like a collective thing between the group was like hey lj's working out getting in shape so we're all gonna we're all gonna <laughs> no do it. i told i went into a rehearsal the other day and i was like just fyi like i'm gonna be I was gonna say I'm gonna be an asshole. I'm gonna be more of an asshole than I usually am <laughs> because I'm starving and I can't eat. So just a little FYI for like the next three months, you know? Oh like, my gosh. Well, I, me and LJ are both about to turn 30, so I don't think. Don't say that. Sorry, he's stuck at 29. <laughs> it's fine. He's having a second 29th birthday. Second 29th birthday. Uh, but now I'm realizing if I don't take care of my body, it hurts me. Um, uh -huh. So apparently I should start taking care of it. Yeah, <laughs> I like, like, but I bought a chin-up bar, so, so one, the one of the ones that go like in the doorway. Yeah, kind of thing. it hurts when you hit your head on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure it's does. just low enough that I smashed my head on it. That's <laughs> fucking funny. It wasn't they I disagree? That. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, I I know. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I went skiing today. Tomorrow's gonna. You're gonna feel that tomorrow. Yeah, you're driving. Yeah. <laughs> I hope the roads are okay. Yeah, um, so let's talk a little bit about the songs that you performed here tonight, you guys. Can you give us a little uh, rundown of, like, maybe the inspiration that came from from the songs? Maybe let's start with that. Just like a, you wrote the lyrics. I know, but like, I'm like, well, we chose 101 BPMs on Still Human because... <laughs> Uh, that, felt, that felt right. That felt right. <laughs> and, um, no, uh, I guess starting with the single, Still Human, I wrote a long time ago. And, like, we've been playing a version of it. A version of it this whole time. With, Multiple yeah, versions at like, this point. Yeah, yeah. There was yeah a country it's gone version, through a few, like... And it kind of... But, like, the acoustic one tonight that we did is, like, more reminiscent of the... OG like folky country version and that one's very much like I am so miserable and currently in a heartbreak situation the one we recorded is like much more just like this kind of rock music you know what I mean pop yeah. music I should say and it's like you're over that heartbreak now so like a, I, I'd like us to do like the chill folky version at some point just as a little extra thing you know what i mean because yeah the, the way we play it just tells two different stories right, right. you know what i mean it's, that's i know that sounds weird how just like even like the tempo of it can like change the whole interpretation yeah of this exact same song well like i couldn't used to not be able to get to that through that song without 
crying, to be quite honest. Like, there'd be a little tear in my eye at the end, be like, oh, I'm so emo and heartbroken, you know? Like, <laughs> and now I can't get through that song without laughing because it's so funny. I'm like, I can't believe I was so upset about that. Like, it's yeah. hilarious to me, you know what I mean? Right. I feel so ridiculous singing it. Is that why you started chuckling on that one take? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Consummate professional over here. He is, yeah. eh? Just 100% yeah. all the time pro. Then the other two we wrote in Colin's basement, um, trying to just put together some some content for what will be our album. One of them being emotional, which like, again, changing the band name from like LJ Tyson and the locals to former lovers. Like we really want to like utilize all of our best skills and like, y'all know Kay's an amazing singer. So for like the course of emotional, like that's gonna be really heavy on me and Kay's vocals when mm -hmm. we go to record it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm really excited about in that song. Okay, um, and I like how there's like a lot of like, like emotional dynamic between the two voices. Yeah. Like sometimes we're both really strong, sometimes one of us is really pulled back. Sometimes I'm just doing like an octave of what he's got going on there and like. Mm -hmm. And I love that we kind of got to really get to know each other on stage like yeah we took some road trips together we kind of all knew each other beforehand but like getting to know each other on stage is just like a different dynamic right because like one of my favorite things is like looking over to Kay on stage and being like oh we're gonna do this part yeah. oh let's do this <laughs> now yeah, and it's just like this fun thing and I think that really is gonna come through in that song the more we work on it you know because right. it is such a back and forth kind of vibe yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and then the last one is just like um uh, called cinematic and it's a bunch of movie lines mashed into one song uh -huh. and it's like this yeah. I don't know to me it's a very like triumphant -y kind yeah. of like pop song it's like we're in the cinematic moment of like life like you just want to like get caught up in like the feeling of that it's like you're making out mm -hmm. at a drive-in movie yeah you know yeah. like that's, yeah. that's yeah. it I, I love yeah. it and I've the... never been to a drive-in movie Serious? Oh, huh? well, we went to that. In Dormy. Yeah, I don't, that doesn't count. It was, it was a pop-up drive-in. Yeah, one oh, of those that's blow-up things. Have you guys, have you thing. ever, what, what's the last drive-in movie you ever? I don't think I've been to one. Are you serious? What? Huh? Oh, man. I was say, as a kid, like, I would go They're all under 30. the time. Me too. Like, probably, Pine like. drive -in. I say the. Yeah, mine. that's the one that was out by, like, PA Bottlers. Yeah. There, yeah. Right? Yeah, Like, yeah. growing up, my parents had a station wagon, and, like, they do, like, the double feature, where, like, they play the kids' movie first, and we'd yeah. sit in the front, and then, like, we'd go chill in the sleeping bags in the back, and mom and dad would get to watch, like, the scary movie, or whatever was Hell the yeah. second one. Yeah. I think the last one we I saw there. We should bring that back. Yeah. We should. Is it still standing there? Like is it no, I think it burned. Did it burn down? Oh. Or there was a fire in it? And I haven't they seen took it, it down. I, it, I think yeah. it's gone. I think the last time I went there was American Pie. I think was oh. the last movie I saw of the driving. <laughs> Honest to God, that's that's a movie for driving. Is that dating me? Well, that too. But. I, say, I think mine was like Monsters Inc. Maybe. Mine was like... Spice World. Spice Ooh, World. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I love how you're like, oh, I'm going to the drive-in for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <Spice> hey, <laughs> I would like to publicly say the Spice Girls are an iconic, amazing band who I deserve agree. all the respect in the world. I agree. Yeah. We know? strive to be. We strive. We would, like, strive we would love to be like Spice Girls. Like Spice if we could have 1% of the Spice Girls' success. Whew. They have what? So two, would you be Ginger albums, Spice? Think, okay? <laughs> gender Spice? Ginger, <laughs> ginger <laughs> Spice. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I guess so. Like, you know. <laughs> would I be Ginger Spice? Oh, there's a good question. What Spice Girl would we be? I would probably be like, um, I'd probably be Ginger Spice. I'm a little wild. Wait, for, before before we get yeah. to that, let's name, name them all. What is there? There's Ginger, Baby, Posh, Sporty. Sporty and scary, scary, scary. scary. Yeah. Okay, you said that with conviction. <laughs> You're like <laughs> scary spice. <laughs> Don't forget. Oh, LG is scary then. I could be scary spice. Yeah, I've got the hair, and you know, in, like I mean, in your, you are, in your workout mode. You are you're... like in dieting and like the yeah, and, scary. and working out. Yeah, right? I it's scary. <laughs> I'm a different ethnicity than you two. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us don't see color. Okay. I don't see color. 
That's a funny joke because Colin's colorblind. Green, green, yeah. green, green. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who would KB? Baby Spice. I would, I would guess <laughs> I would put my money on Baby Spice. Yeah. yeah. You bet. And then Colin is Bosch. I'm gonna, I don't know the Spice Colin. Oh, my God. I'm going to give Sporty like Spice. Sporty Spice. Sporty? He's doing chin-ups. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. No, no. He has Very a chin-up bar. Yeah. <laughs> What else do you need? It's good intentions. Like I'm just, I'm gonna get there. Uh -huh. <laughs> something, something, road to hell, something or other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you really at uh, four chin-ups only? It was five. Only five. Five, yeah. five yeah. you can do. You think you can do? Do you want to do? Yeah. yeah. I know. Do I right know now. I can. I know I can. But um, outside right now. Is it I want. I wanted to ask you. Are you? Would you be interested in doing like a push-up challenge with me for a month? If we do like a hundred push-ups a day for a month. Pretty sure I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. I would. It's just. How about you, LJ? Got some You're currently <laughs> working out. We don't oh, have. We don't, we don't. We don't have to. If if a hundred is too much, we could even what do. Are you saying is too much? <laughs> Why do they get asked and not yeah. me? I could do. LJ is up and yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, let's fucking do this. Let's do. Let, uh, I'm totally down. I'll if, do it if you guys are in. Yeah, yeah you guys gotta start right now, right here. That was always like my mom's punishment. Like we'd literally be like in a grocery store or something, and like my brother and I'd be fighting, and all of a sudden my mom would just turn around and be like, "Drop and give me 10. And what? like she was serious. That's a, I might and steal that. Yeah. That's a good. You and your brother really just good. walking around like jacks. <laughs> 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 we're both like scrawny, tiny children. <laughs> 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 Doesn't that just make you punch each other harder? Yeah. Because now you're more fighters. equipped to yeah. hit each other. <laughs> wow, great parents. I think the intent is to <laughs> tucker them out. Yeah, I think, right? <laughs> that shit doesn't work though. That was a good pun that you realized. That was realize. a great pun that you did. I, I missed catch. it. Her brother's name is Tucker. So really? Yeah, yeah. It was tuckered out. It was, it was good. <laughs> if he yeah, started yeah. a band, his like album or band name could be Tuckered Out. Oh, it could be. That would be yeah. yeah. His contact name in my phone is Brother Tucker. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know any other Tuckers? No. John but. Tucker. He must die. He must die. <laughs> Isn't there like Tucker There's Carlson actually another Tucker James in PA. There is. That, that's that Fox News guy, right? Oh, the guy who got canceled or, yeah, or yeah. fired or whatever from Tucker Fox News? Carlson, yeah. Yeah, that's who that is. He's coming to Canada, apparently. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Let's not talk about that. One, two. Say that you can't love me Cause I'm mentally unwell 
I'm, I'm super excited for, for the music to come out, you guys. Uh, um, I've been a big fan of yours, LJ, since, since the first time I met you. And I, I, don't even re- oh, fuck, I don't even remember when the first time we would have met would have been. I honestly don't know. I think it was a Chesterfest, maybe, maybe, that I saw you first? Oh, go figure. Go she figure. Is. It's she Chesterfest herself. <laughs> Case fault. Case fault. Yeah. 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 yeah I can't so remember. every Actually, that everything first started with Kate. Yeah. It may have. It actually started with Kate. Yeah. Yeah. In a roundabout way. So you need to apologize. I'm very <laughs> sorry. I'm sincerely sorry <laughs> for all the damage Chester Fest has it ever caused. <laughs> it is a deposition. It is a deposition. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was the reason we got here. I don't know. Is there anything anything that we're missing that we need to be addressing? I mean, just Colton. We're just missing Colton. Colton. Oh, we Colton. are. But he's, he's right, right there. there. Yeah. What? In spirit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Colton, <laughs> if you're watching this. He's not. <laughs> dude, this was the <laughs> third time that you had an opportunity to be on this program. Third? And, and yeah. I think that you should do one third one time. day and it's just like. Just Colton. Solo. Yeah. It's just Colton. Sure, I would to love catch up for all of them. Yeah. yeah. We should just get Grill him about make him bring band. his drum kit here, and we'll just record him banging on the drums. He needs for to do nine minutes. songs. Yeah, yeah. three. T- there was when we did the episode with Gary O. He was he was Gary was saying that he was going to be showing up for that, and he never did. Tonight, and I feel like there was another one where he had an opportunity. Was it with Greenwing? Greenwing. He Maybe. wasn't in Greenwing. No, yet. not no, at that. No, because Zach was still oh. drumming. I don't remember what the other one was. I truly don't. Two for sure. Maybe I'm wrong on the three, but anyways, Colton. Yeah. Truthfully, I don't really have any more questions for you guys. No, because we talk all the time. I just I love that you guys are here, man. I could just well, sit thanks here. Thanks for and having us. Yeah. Walk, yeah and I could just no. sit here and watch you guys all night, man. That's, thanks for that's yeah. Creepy. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't cut you off here. <laughs> Do you have? Is there anything pressing okay, though nice that so. we didn't yeah. touch on? Outside of the album, the the songs are fucking great, man. I love them. Thank you for coming out here and, well, and was, doing that. I was gonna bring up the mm-hmm. past a little bit, but that's fine. No, that's go former. ahead. Former, it's for it's in the past. I was gonna, gonna bring up Doyle Fest, but what about it? Oh. Now I'm curious. Yeah, now yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, okay. Yeah. Well, now you peaked our. That was cool. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. That was cool. That was cool. That was fun. That was fun. That was a good one. Yeah, it's cold. I'll that say this chilly. though, for in reference to Doyle Fest, that was like, I still consider our us figuring everything out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. I think when it finally like fully clicked. Yeah. So. Thanks, Eliza. The next show. Thanks, Eliza thanks. Doyle, by the way. Yeah. I love her. Um, well, thanks, Eliza, for a whole bunch of things. Thanks, but, Eliza, for yeah. Yeah. Eliza, like. Different story for a different Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, we'll take it away from here. Yeah, like the next show people see from us is going to be a little bit different. You know, like... Um, I think we've really locked into a lot of stuff. Yeah. And we kind of know the show we want to put on now. Yeah. Like I said about us, like, getting to know each other on stage. Like, I think we are going to make the best of those different personalities now. Like mm-hmm. the Spice Girls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Spice Girls. Yeah. I still know nothing, but I believe you guys. It sounds... Man. We're going to make you listen to Spice Girls right now. You should this. just watch a movie. What? Just watch Spice World. Yeah. Billie Eilish thought the Spice Girls were a fictional band that were just from that movie. Who thought, who thought that? Really? Billie Eilish. Yeah, she was like, oh, yeah, the band from the movie. She didn't know they were like an actual Amazing. band. She thought they was just a movie. Uh, oh, crazy. my God. But she's, not, she's, what, 21 or something? Yeah. Yeah. So, so the youth are the problem. The youth. This is oh the, that's the episode. <laughs> the youth, youth, the youth, the youth are the problem. The problem. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was always ta- the problem. I was talking to someone earlier today about Anybody music. Anybody who's, t- sorry, 29 or less is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good to be self-aware. Right. <laughs> but we were, we were talking about music uh, today, and it was like the fact that 70s classic rock is not 30 years ago. Mm-hmm. That's 50 years ago. Yeah, it's upsetting. And, and the, the fact that Nirvana is classic rock because it's 30 years old mm-hmm. is... Nerve-wracking? Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Nirvana came out when you were born. Yeah. Yeah, he died like three months, a month after I was born? Oh, my God. I don't remember. Um, no? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. For some reason. But yeah, but yeah. So I remember the first time I heard that album. Never mind. We went to uh, 
I didn't like it the first time. Oh, dude, I was like, what the fuck is this? It yeah, was just like, I was I, like, me too. I was like, what the fuck is this? Oh, no, I was like <laughs> very positive with it. I was like, right. this is this fucking slaps. Um, yeah, I did flip my world upside down. But I sure was uh, listening to other kind of music. I think I was like, I might have been like 11 years old or something when I first heard that. In 94, you were 11? Uh, in 94, I would have been 12, I think. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I was born in 82. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the shit. That we are. <laughs> she comes down behind us. I feel like people never get to see you. Oh, she sure. comes down here. No, but she yeah. come, she come she hops in into okay, episodes good, every good, once in a while. Yeah. 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 Here we go. She brought us the balloons here today, and we really are appreciate so thankful. it. Are so thankful. Yeah, you're the best. I, thought, I saw this color, and I thought of you. I thought, oh, this yeah, is so that is okay. like That's that is cake. my color. Yeah. Yeah. Like that and yellow, especially like together. Oh, it like here. It was also a yellow balloon. Hold this. Color. Yeah, that's what? my palette. Vintage. Yellow but is adorable. your color? Yeah. <laughs> Who would have like, guessed? What's I your love studio yellow. called? It's actually not my oh studio. My gosh. <laughs> well, <it's just laughs> I mean, yes, I I have an art studio, Lemon Yellow Art Studio, <laughs> and I am passing it off to my amazing business partner, who's been so gracious in this whole transition, um, and she's gonna keep doing awesome classes there. And yes, it's called Lemon Yellow because that is my favorite color to you. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say something for to the, I just remembered this. To those of you at home, uh, to our regular viewers, if, if you, you're still watching yeah, by this time. <laughs> you may have heard me <laughs> say this in a couple episodes that, that we know an artist who makes her notes of lyrics on sticky notes and sticks them all over her house. If you've heard me say that, that's actually oh, Kayana, that's uh, who I'm referring to when I, when I mention that, but yeah. Just LJ, fun what do fact. you do with lyrics? Yeah, how do you how do you, do you, come do you up write with them your, in a notebook with your or lyrics in your phone Voi or yeah, voice notes or voice notes? Yeah, a lot of voice notes, and then I, I try and put them on notes, but there's a lot of forgotten and made up lyrics on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you have like when you're coming up with lyrics, if you're like, oh, that'd be a good line. Do you have the melody with it right away? Or is it like melody and then lyrics? Or is it lyrics and then melody? Or do they kind of go hand in hand? Hand in hand. Yeah? Yeah. Interesting. Is that the same with you, Kayana? Yeah, I usually have like a line or something. And that's why I usually like scribble them down on little things. Because it'll be like, I'll have like a melody in mind. And I'll have like two lines of what I want. But like I don't really know what the rest of it sounds like. So I'll like yeah. scribble down the two lines that I've gotten stick it on a wall and walk past it a bunch of times and like kind of sing it every time I walk by until like sometimes something else comes. Yeah. How do you remember the melody if you've got all those sticky notes everywhere? Oh, I feel like melodies just like stick in my head. It like, does, eh? To me, it's like if I don't remember it, then it wasn't good. You know, like if it's not an ear, like, you know, if it's not catchy and like I can't remember it. Right. Right, right. It must not have been that good. And then for you, Colin? I just critique their lyrics. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Colin helped write on some of these new songs. Dude, I've been bugging him for like six months to help me write a song, and he d he made a very interesting point to me. Did I? You did, and I've said this on the program before. Yeah, if you would watch, you would know. If you would <laughs> ever watch our show. <laughs> so apparently the whole you would show hear is just quotes of things that we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Colin. Of Colin. Of Colin. Yeah. <laughs> and this, and this gay sticky notes. Yeah. 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 Um, but you told me, well, I was like, oh, Colin, I, I w I'm really interested. I would really want to know how to write this. And you said something to me that really stuck. And you said, you already know how to do it. Oh, and I we, stole that from somebody else, but I can't remember. Did who. you really? <laughs> I, I heard it somewhere, and it made sense. But yeah. It did, well, when you told it to me, it made perfect sense. You were like, think of how, many, how much music you've listened to in your lifetime, right? That whole 10,000 hours of perfection mm -hmm. or whatever. And... If you, if you consider all the music you've ever listened to, like you already know the structure of a song and how it plays out and everything. And when you told me that, that really stuck. And I'm like, fuck, now I just so got to stop debut being album? lazy. Sorry? When's the debut album? Debut album. Yeah. <laughs> 2029? No, Mar March 20th. Yeah, yeah. March 20th, <laughs> I might have a single oh, that's coming awesome. out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't go to a show now. Yeah. Yeah. That's too bad. Uh, this, is, this is awkward. 
you want to open for us? I was saying, yeah. are we like cold wanna... headlining? Or Dude, like, I'd be hey, totally hey, he's, down to... He's asking you to open for him. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be totally <laughs> down pay? to MC yeah. that night. We we got to dip our fingers in MCing um, it, for the steadies in Cupid's Heart last That's Friday. Right, yeah. and, and I think it turned out really good. Uh. We had a fucking blast, man. It was so much fun. And it wasn't that stressful because, you know, we'd, we'd go up for like four or five minutes. I think we did that three or four times. So it was like, go up shoot the shit for five minutes and then I went and And we didn't have to organize were, anything. And I was amazing. thinking of you. I, I seriously thought of you that night because there was one point, it was a sold out crowd, packed house, and uh, I, just, I just needed to like get away from all the people. So I went and I sat in the green room by myself for maybe a solid 20, 30 minutes there. And when I was doing that, I was thinking of you because I remember the night at the Capitol when we had you uh, as a featured act at an open stage when you were hanging out in the green room and I was like, you sure you don't want to just come out and hang out with And you were like, no, I'm, I'm good. Like, I'm just in the zone. I want to stay in the zone and, and, <laughs> and stay out here. And so when I was doing that, I was like, oh, well, if anyone asks me why I'm in here all by myself, I'm going to use that. <laughs> I was, a a disclaimer that I'm not some diva that just takes no, it. No, no, it wasn't anything bad. And I get it because you were there to perform. And but like, not even that. It's just like, I'm really socially awkward oh. <laughs> and um i really like save that energy for the end so i can go and thank people for coming because right. i genuinely appreciate that anyone gives a shit that they would come watch us yeah. you know mm -hmm. what i mean 100%. so like i like to save the little freaking social battery that yep. i have for for after you yeah. know what i mean makes, so makes perfect you know sense. what i mean like yeah. it's, I'm, I'm just too awkward to be out being like i yeah. don't th i don't think you're awkward at all i and i'm what being honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> i don't man we truly love you guys man you guys when we say you're a friend of the family part of the herd colin is now it. officially part of the herd that's right they already were i was gonna make colin. a moose call but i don't know how like this I'm not a good hunter. I want to make that super. Cool. That's what uh, uh, at Moose Fest, Electric Religious did. They were like uh, trying to get everyone to do the crowd this. to do that. Yeah. I love Electric. I saw this so uh, funny video the other day where it's like how to call a moose, and this guy just smacks his buddy, and his buddy just gets hit in the face, and then he's like, <laughs> like hell yeah, dude. That's how you do it. Amazing. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Anyway. But, well, with that, you guys, I think we're gonna we're gonna call this a night. Yep. Truly appreciate the shit out of you guys. Open door policy. Anytime you guys want to come hang out with us, cameras or no cameras. I feel like they know this already. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I know you guys do. And Colin, you are the best sound guy. You are the show. best sound guy. <laughs> Those of you watching, that's your guy right there. If you need a good sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. We freaking love you guys. So thank you again for coming out. And we'll see you next week. Thank you guys in the house. See you next week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>